Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to find the uh, the distance between two points. Now, finding the distance between two points when looking at a number line is relatively easy. All you really need to do is just kind of count how far you're going between two points. However, if I was um, just going to give you two points, uh, you know, and just say, hey, between like these two numbers, how could you systematically do that without creating a number line? So my purpose of this video is to not only show you how to do it with a number line, but also to give you some information on how to find the distance between two points without a number line. And what's really important is we're talking about distance. We're not talking about positive or negative. So if we, you know, if I'm standing here and if I go one unit to, in my case, the left, and if I go one unit to the right, I still travel to one unit. It doesn't matter if I'm going to the left or to the right, if it's positive or negative. When we're talking about distance, we're talking about distance traveled, not if it's positive or negative. And that can sometimes get confusing, especially when we're looking at the number lines, because the number lines were looked at you know, to the right is positive and to the left is negative. But in talking about distance, we are going to eliminate the, uh, the, direct, the direction, the positive or the negative, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. But at first, let's just kind of use our initial uh, problem here and just to kind of get an idea of what we're looking for. So we have uh, the points f and i. And what we want to do is find the distance. Now, the easiest way to find the distance between f and i, and this is kind of like looking at a ruler too, right? You can just literally count how far is it from f to i. And one, two, three. And you can see my, uh, my number line is going by ones. So you know it's a one. So that's going a distance of one, two, three. So you could say the distance between f and i is three, right? Um, but how can we do that? What if I took this away? What if I took away the number line? And I just said, you know, between the points uh, one and four, how far is that? Well, what really are you doing? You're basically taking, you know, if I was to erase all of this and I just said one and four, what is the distance between one and four? Well, again, you could look at the counting, you know, three, but you could also look at this as subtracting. You're basically taking your distance of your uh, one value and then subtracting from the other to find the difference in between them. So what we can do is, again, now it doesn't matter if you're going to the right or to the left, we're not worried about negative. So all I'm simply going to do to find the distance is I can just take f minus i. So take my two points, subtract them. But obviously, if you subtract 1 minus 4, that's going to give you a negative 3. So to make sure we're not dealing with any negatives, we're going to take the absolute value of that, which equals the absolute value of negative 3, which is just going to equal a positive 3. Okay. Um, and the next one is if we were going to look at um, the next one, AC. So you can see between A and C, this one looks, ah, you know, you can see it's not too bad. That's two units over, right? That's not too far away. But let's go and take a look at this following my formula. So we have A minus C. Now, this one can sometimes get tricky with students because we have those negatives. And that's why I think it's very, very important to make sure that, um, did I turn this back on? OK, I'm good. So make sure that we turn this, subtract them, be careful with this. So A is going to be a negative 4 minus c, which is going to be a negative 2. So I'm going to use parentheses around that to make sure I have. So negative 4 minus a negative 2 is like the same thing as adding, which is going to equal to an absolute value of negative 2, which is just equal to 2. Okay? And you can see that was exactly what we had here, right? It's 2 to the right. Now, so, so far we've gone from the left to the right. What happens when we go from the right to the left? So now we're going from g to b, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know my answer is 5. But again, I don't care if I went to the left. My answer is not going to be negative. The distance that I traveled is still 5. But again, let's go through our formula. g minus b, absolute value. So therefore, g is going to be 2 minus b, which equals absolute value of 5, which is equal to 5. So you can see in either case, it doesn't matter if I'm moving them along, um, counting along a number line, or if I'm just subtracting my two terms. Um, as long as I'm taking the absolute value, that's going to give me the distance. Now, this was kind of important because not always are you going to have a number line. Actually, more cases than not, you're not going to have a number line. So you're going to have to want to make sure you know how to find the distance between two points. This is something that would be happening, uh, it comes up quite a bit. And so I'm going to bring that up again if by looking at ones with some fractions and with some uh, decimals. And just to kind of get some more practice with this. So r minus 0. Uh, so in this case, we're going to have r, which is 3 fourths, minus 0. Well, the absolute value of uh, 3 fourths minus 0 is just 3 fourths. Absolute value of 3 fourths is just 3 fourths. So just because it has fractions, you can see it's not, that wasn't really a difficult problem, right? L to m, all right? Uh, so therefore, we're going to have absolute value of negative 3 fourths minus a negative 1 half. 
Now, just remember when you're subtracting fractions to get common denominators. So I'll multiply by 2 over 2 here. Therefore, I'll have the absolute value of negative 3 fourths plus 2 fourths, which is going to equal a negative 1 fourth absolute value, which is equal to 1 fourth. Okay? So just a couple of little fraction operations, because we will be looking into fractions. So just want to make sure. And then also, and that was going from right to left. And then we have n to p. And this one's kind of interesting, because yeah, you could subtract them. Um, you know, but you think about this, you know that you go from there to there is 1 fourth, from there to there is 1 fourth. Well, 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is going to be 1 half. But let's just kind of go through the math here real quick and do n, so negative 1 fourth. Uh, n to p minus 1 fourth. OK, and you can see that's going to equal a negative 2 fourths. Negative 2 fourths, absolute value, which reduces down to 1 half. OK, um, so last but not least, let's go and look at some decimal uh, operations. Again, it's going to be kind of the same thing. Uh, you know, you can use a calculator, but I know in this kind of course, we want to make you sure you guys can do decimal operations and fractions without having to use a calculator. But the main important thing is just to drive really this process home. Uh, xw, so you can see here, is from that's going to go from x to w. So that's going to be 2.4 minus 1.2, which is equal to the absolute value of 1.2, which is equal to 1.2. So going from right to left, um, now we're going to go from left to right. So we'll do the exact same thing. So we're going to do 1.2 minus 2.4. And you can see his absolute value of negative 1.2, which is equal to 1.2. So I want to do this problem so you can see that it doesn't matter if you're going from left to right or right to left. Since you're taking that absolute value, you're going to be given the distance. Um, and then last but not least is z to t. So we have 4.8 minus a negative 2.4. And I really just wanted to drive home these negatives. You know, Since you're subtracting, make sure that when you plug in another negative number, make sure you're using those parentheses. Uh, so really, we're adding. So that's going to equal the absolute value of, let's see, that's going to be 2. So that's going to be 7.2, which is equal to just 7.2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the distance between two points. Thanks.